If my dad was still selling drugs, I would probably be a drug dealer. My dad's a falconer, so I'm a falconer. When he got around those birds, he just changed. It's like a light switch. I would just see how excited he would be to go in and work with the bird and get the bird to eat off the glove and get the bird to fly to the glove. I would just see that difference in him and I just knew I wanted to be a part of that. As far back as I can remember, I've always loved to be outside. There's a freedom that comes along. Mike has a love for animals like I do. Falconry is, was, and always will be a bonding experience between Mike and I. You remember we had this bird? You Falconry is taking a wild caught bird and assisting them in a hunt, building that bond with them and trust with them. It is the actual licensing to own, hunt, and trap wild birds of prey, hawks, owls, falcons, eagles. I was 24 and I told my dad I wanted to be a falconer. The rest is history. I've been doing falconry ever since. When you trap a juvenile bird, you're basically helping them through their first year to one day you can release them back into the wild. When you release him, he's relying on all those skills that you taught him. The same way your kid will rely on all the skills that you taught him growing up. That's it, you push him out the nest, that's it. Peace is something that you never thought you would probably have. And when you get out there and fly that bird and you don't have a stress on you, how can you be stressed when you feel love around you? Well, my dad, he was just like, yeah, man, you got to look up in the trees. You got to look up. You got to look up. And he just kept saying it. And I don't know if he was saying it in the sense of look up for the bird or something bigger than just the birds. In the sense of chase your heart. In the sense of follow your dreams. A lot of uh, inner city people don't look up that much. But when I became a falconer, I started to look up. I started to see things that I never thought I would see. I started to believe in things. When you're flying a bird and when you hunt your bird, you, you're not really focusing on everyday life. You're focusing on that moment. Being a falconer, I don't know. It just brings something different out of me. So I tell you to do with your equipment. Is your equipment important? Falconry has is, is really taught me patience. Even I can see with me having more patience with my kids. Just showing them the same things that my dad showed me and just teaching them along the way responsibility. My kids believe that that's their bird. And when they call them for the bird, I tell them, get their wings up. And when the bird get there, they say, get your wings up, get your wings up. Falconry has just taught me be a better dad, better son. Just being honorable, that's what falconry is to me. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? That's the Harris Hall. This petunia is something that started with him and I. And now he passed it to his. And then they'll pass it to theirs. So we'll be that first family of generation after generation after generation of black falconers.